Ever since I was in L.A., I've been my ex-girlfriend. Every time you called, I told you, baby, I'm working. Anywho. I didn't need that song. <laughs> <laughs> Without doing my dirt. I know y'all know That's not like an Usher song. Is that Usher? But I don't know all the words mm -hmm. to it. You're getting hurt. Standing hand with the Beverly Center. <laughs> like, man, not giving a dang who sees me. So gone, so wrong. Acting like I didn't have you sitting at home. Thinking about me. Come on, like, Usher is the man. Come on. Good day, good peoples. Today we're going to talk about confessions. How to confess. Or lies. How to confess from a lie that you tell. Right, so me and my wife lie to each other. Right? And, but they're typically not like huge lies. Now me, I'm a liar. <laughs> my wife is laughing because she knows it's the truth. I will lie to get out of trouble. I will lie to, to, to make myself look better. I will lie for no reason at all. I don't even have to have a reason. Right. Mm -hmm. But I try not to tell the big lies <laughs> to her. You know what I mean? So we the big pray for him. We gotta pray for him. Okay. <laughs> I, I can hear my mentor say, "You know that lying spirit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. The one that won't tell the truth. Uh -huh. <laughs> That's what hindered you." But how can we get back? So we're going to discuss right. the proper way to confess. To confess. It's something about audibly telling somebody, I lied. That just kind of releases this energy and frees you. Because the truth will set you free. Every time. After it piss you off. Because mm -hmm. there are some it people. It cuts you around the neck. Yes. Because the truth <laughs> will set you free. But before it sets you free, it's going to make you mad. Right. It's going to make you mad. The truth about yourself is going to make you mad. <laughs> yes. This morning we talked about money matters. We always like to parenthetically insert the purpose of these videos. The purpose of these videos, of course, is to encourage and inspire uh, people to get and or stay married. We also like to address any fears that a person might have. So, um, you know, uh, open for discussion. I I've, I've learned just from, you know, doing this uh, video that men typically have a fear that there's going to be some, some pussy that they're giving up on. And, uh, you know, and there might legitimately be some pussy that you're giving up on. But just make sure you marry a person who understands your fear. Confess that to them. Hey, I don't want to give up on all this pussy. And I realize that I'm going to have to give up on all this pussy. And so I don't want to give it up. Like, but I realize if I marry you, I'm going to have to give it up. Like, Sharon and I are strong in the area of marriage. And we are perfect in the area of fidelity, meaning we have never physically, uh, emotionally uh, cheated on each other. M more importantly, uh, physically, because I, I can take her emotionally cheating, I, I, I guess, but I'm not with that either. Not but I would prefer an emotional cheat than you putting your pussy in another nigga's bed. Donut in the coffee. Yeah, none of that. You already know your daddy. I would prefer that. You know what I mean? So I'll go first this time. Okay. So I was listening to uh, uh, some motivational speaking today. And a motiva motivational speaker, who will go nameless, uh, uh, he, was, he was saying that, you know, uh, he gets a lot of uh, couples that come into his office. And inevitably, when a, when a man says that, or when a woman rather says that she cannot trust a man, uh, she is almost always talking about, uh, him cheating on her and uh, inevitably when he hears it from a man uh, he's talking about her not being able to keep his secrets after he confessed what he said her not being able to keep that and when they start arguing her bring that up you know what right, I mean right and so those types of things are the the things that we're going to talk about tonight uh, how to confess how to keep it to yourself. Right. We do love sex. I love sex. Sharon can give or take it. I, I don't know. I think she's asexual. <laughs> I freaking love pussy. I love Sharon's pussy. I love, I love, but I love pussy in general. You know what I mean? Yeah. You understand what I'm talking about. But tonight, we will be talking about that along with this. You know what I mean? So uh, because Sharon and I have never cheated on each other physically, uh, emotionally, or anything like that, uh, I, I've never had to confess that that portion um, of, of, of it. And I don't even know how I would do it. 
As a matter of fact, I could just imagine myself being in the like bed with a woman. And I'm imagining we would even be in the bed because if you some sort of hoe that going to give me some pussy, you know what I mean? We probably going to be like in the back of a car or something on a wagon or in a bathroom or something like that. You know what I mean? I can, I, but I can't imagine not thinking about Sharon the entire time. So I, it wouldn't be good. And if it wouldn't be good, then what's the point of this? That's just how I think. Right. So when, when we do confess, uh, there are certain topics I want to talk about. So, okay. I think it's important for every married couple to talk about their previous sexual experiences. Right. I think it's extremely important. Uh, but I think it's a discussion that only needs to happen. And you're, if you're married for 80 years, it only needs to happen once or twice. Maybe. Maybe. We don't have to keep bringing that up. You know what I mean? I understood before I met you, you like donuts and you happen to be coffee. <laughs> and I understand, you know what I mean? And she understands and I'm a donut and I like all type of coffee. I like tea. I like juice. I like water. Bring it all here. You know what I mean? <laughs> but that's the conversation we should only be having once or twice. Right. Uh, Sharon and I are so comfortable in our marriage that you know we will joke about past people and you know or, or, or we'll bring it up you know casually we don't go deep like you know and i'm not trying to cut you so that's the way you confess that you can talk about it. i think it's because people some people feel like you know you're never supposed to talk about somebody that you you previously had that might not work for their relationship so you do have to do what you got to do for yours if you know yours ain't working for you you got to do what you got to do right but for me and my career it's okay uh, I think you should even talk about that before you get married, actually, because if you've been with someone that the other person doesn't approve of, good job, and they find out after you get married, that's going to be a problem. You've got to give me a choice. That's going to be a big problem. What, what if you would have uh, uh, made love or have had rough sex with one of my family members who I love and am very close to? I might still love you. You feel me? And I, I, and I might still like want you, but you, you, you gotta give me a chance to choose. Mm -hmm. You feel me? What if you have? This is a, an extreme example, so hopefully you stay with me. But if a person has HIV, right, and and they're in the early stages of it, and they don't tell another person, right, and the person falls in love with them, and they're having unprotected sex. And they never tell them. First of all, that's a felony if you're doing that, a literal felony. But, but secondly, you also have to give me the opportunity to choose. So I think that's why the confessional part uh, is important. Mm -hmm. Because it can really make or break a relationship. Right. It, it legit can make or break a relationship. When I, when I confessed to Sharon before we was married, the biggest thing I confessed, she already knew everything about me. I had a kid, you know. I'm being, mm, mm, mm. I ain't saying that loud, but you already know, like, and, and I, the, I, I, I used to smoke weed heavy. I'm talking about heavy. Like I smoke, uh, I used to smoke, I, 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 and I don't smoke like this anymore, but I used to smoke an ounce, I'm going to say a week, probably an ounce and a half, like heavy, heavy. And I always just told her like, you know, right now I'm saved, I'm sanctified, I'm filled with the Holy Spirit, but I'm pretty sure if I have to marry you, we're going we're gonna to walk with each other, you know, for <laughs> longer than I'm going to be in this building, right? right? So you need to know this about me. You right. need to know that. You need to know that, like, you know what I mean? And if you want to open up about yours, you can, but I'm not going to tell her truth. She had to tell her <laughs> own truth, and it, she don't feel I comfortable. I think for me is, I didn't have a whole lot of secrets, but mostly my previous sex partners I was with. I wanted to be honest about the yes. number that I was with. Thank you. And I wanted to tell him exactly who they were because he might have known them. And right. for men, they really get embarrassed. Like, if... You don't get embarrassed? Yeah, but men typically get, like... I think you guys take it harder. We do. And so, if <laughs> I was with someone, like one of your friends... That you knew by that. And then <laughs> you bring them, introduce them to me, and they like, oh, I done had her. Yeah. You know, she do this, she do that, and she right. do this. All my niggas would have told me, like, no, don't do that day. <laughs> but if you already married to me, now you like, oh, yeah. oh my god, oh, yeah. Like, that would crush you. You or, gotta like, rip tell your heart me. out, you know what I mean? You gotta <laughs> tell me, like. <laughs> right, so, 
I think it is important to talk about that kind of stuff. Like, once it starts getting to the point where you're like, okay, this is getting serious, like right. to the point where we might marry each other, confess that's it. when you need to start talking about those confessions. You need to confess like it, that. though. I, 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 the, you, know, you know, sex is so easy. I was going to say that you should probably do it before you have sex. But, you know, sex is like eating. Sometimes I don't pray before I eat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Sometimes I just <laughs> dive in. Like, and, you know what I mean? You, know, you go one of them quick breaths. God, 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 do everything. You know what I mean? Get to eating. So that's how sex is. Sometimes, you know what I mean? I, you just so look, looking so good, and you just happen to catch me on the day where I needed it, and we might not have had the opportunity to have the conversation. You know what I mean? And or, that, or it's not a serious relationship. I mean, that happens. Right, one night stands. Right. I've, I've been the victim of those <laughs> <I've> been, uh, <laughs> a couple times, you know. So I, that's how we we confess. We always like to parenthetically insert the videos, and I, I do it on time, probably about every ten or eleven minutes. Uh, it's actually to encourage and inspire people to get and stay married, and or stay married. Uh, and we want to address any fears and discuss anything that and we know. Any issues? Yeah, the it's floor is literally y'all know us it's always open you can ask anything you want or you could just receive it doesn't it doesn't matter what whatever you do right. uh but uh, if you do need a, a good uh, case study uh, or a good video study not a case study uh wf harley he has a, a video study on youtube it's uh you know each video is like 18 minutes long mm -hmm. uh, and there's six of them and each of them go over um these things including confession um uh, and and how to always be able to tell the one person that you have in your life, the truth at all times. So his name is William F. Harley, and you can check him out. The book is called His Needs, Her Needs, and they broke it down into a uh, six video series. Each video is like 18 minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, but it really helped us because, you know what I mean, now that we talked about like confessions and how to confess, I think once you get everything off your chest and you guys are free and everything is, is taken care of, which is why, which is where the strength in our relationship comes from. Once that happens, then it's now our incumbent upon each of us to continue to tell each other the truth, you know? So uh, how I do it is, I always tell my kids, you, you, do you know what will keep you from lying? The pregnant pause, you see that? T telling the truth. Or uh, A, telling the truth. Uh, but B, silence. You don't have to say everything. Right now, that doesn't mean you should be holding stuff back that you should be telling. I always say, if you're the cheater, it is it is your responsibility now to come up with ways that you can prove your trust. But I don't know how to do it. See, now that's your responsibility. If you was in jail, they would tell you it's your responsibility, or if you was on probation, it's your responsibility to pay us a hundred dollars a week. But I don't know how to do it. Well, you yeah, just like going to you just going to jail. <laughs> you see right. what I mean? You better be ingenuitive. And right. if you're the cheater, it is your responsibility to come up with ways to prove trust. Right. And that's why uh, the the truth will make you mad. I, I already know before it sets you free because it's true. Uh, you have to also put yourself in the emotional state that the other spouse is in. Men typically find it hard to relate to women. It's almost like we don't really respect them, right? If, if your boy got cheated on, you go, I told you these hoes ain't loyal, you feel me? <laughs> but if, if, um, <laughs> but if you, but if you cheat on your babe, it's like, nah, she be all right, right? Mm -hmm. And then, you know, girls, they treacherous. They giving the pussy to your dad. Like, how this babe got my brother now? Like, that's how girls is. Like, I'm just, that's how that's how girls is. So you gotta be careful. You gotta watch. You gotta watch. You know what kind of girls you talking to? I'm just saying. Like, I, I've heard stories of you know babes having uh, you know just because you cheated on me now I'm about to have everybody uh, you know, a revenge type story. Of, and that I has see. happened. I have been a part of that plot before, uh, and I didn't let it go down because I figured it out. So I said, nah, I can't do it. Like, and it ain't like a nigga don't want to. I just, I can't even do it. Like, so I don't want to take it up, but uh, we were talking about, you know, now it's incumbent upon my wife to know the truth. I, I always talk about David being radically truthful. I am radically truthful. So a lot of times when you're around me, I'm, I might not say your breath stink, but I will offer you 17 pieces of gum. And if, if you do not take some of this gum, it's going to be a problem after a while. Like, and I think that's coming from, you know, my, my upbringing and how we just used to constantly crack on each other. I have to watch my mouth. Now I have a video called Watch My Mouth 
because that's, that's just something that I do. But now we have to like radically be able to tell each other the truth, right? right? So my wife, if she has something on now, I'm not going to tell you, you feel me? Because that would hinder us, right? Right. But at the crib, <laughs> but at the crib, I might say, oh, whoop dee doop whoop whoop dee doop you know what I mean? Bae, and uh, I don't want that to happen, you know what I mean? Right. And she might be like, oh, but, I, but I ain't always doing like that. I'm like, yeah, but I didn't marry your mama. You know what I mean? I married you, <laughs> and I don't like that. You know what I mean? Right. So it's that radical, that, that radical truth. How do you feel about always being open and always telling the truth? Sharon be lying. Let me tell you what she lied about. <laughs> <laughs> food. <laughs> Almost every time Sharon lied about some food. I, 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 uh, uh, but she, she always confessed. She always keep it open. And she'll, she'll, uh, we'll go ahead. I'll let you talk. I'll let you talk. Yeah, yeah. You guys already know if you've been watching these videos, food is my weakness. Right. <laughs> and, um, he puts me on a budget because I could get a little carried away. Yes. So sometimes I like, you know, break the budget. <laughs> <laughs> so, but this is how it happens, though. Right. I was going to tell you this quick story. He'll be at work, and I'll be like, yes. <laughs> Drop him off at work. I'm about to go to Chick-fil-A. Mm -hmm. I love Chick-fil-A. I'm going to Chick-fil-A. <laughs> and I'm going to eat this in the car. <laughs> and I'll be trying to hide the evidence, everything. Like, I have it down packed. And he calls me. He right. goes, what you doing? I'm like, nothing. <laughs> she be hiding the evidence? <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like, nothing. He be like... <laughs> He was like, FaceTime. Yeah. I'm like, no, I'm driving. I can't FaceTime. She banging out some, <laughs> some chocolate or some, uh, what's that that restaurant that's closed on Sundays? The Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. She loves Chick-fil-A with a passion. My, one of my confessions is, you know, y'all love, Sharon's is, is kitty compared to mine. I love porn. Like, I, I love it. I'm, I'm almost addicted to it. I, I would even go far to say I am addicted to it. Uh, but so like if she's leaving and I'm by myself in the house, I'd be like Kevin Hart, what a laptop back, what a laptop back, <laughs> you know what I mean? But when she come back, I'd be like, you know, I just got done watching uh, PAWG, you trying to get this on, like, and then Sharon, she always need to get heated up, like, <laughs> heated up. I'd be feeling like, we don't need, I'd be spending the last 45 minutes getting heated up, let's That's go. That's the problem. Yeah, That's yeah, so I, I just confess to y'all, like, you know what I mean? But I've done that before, so. I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. I, I, it is something that I have to work on, though. You know what I mean? If I just can stop liking it so much. You know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, then, then I'm, I, with the, I don't think I, I do not have the physical symptoms because there have been, even now, I haven't watched porn in probably three weeks. And it ain't been on purpose. It just, no, 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 no clap because I'm going back. <laughs> but listen, it ain't been on purpose. It's just been because I've just been literally so busy. I've been having to come up with content. And then uh, I work uh, like 12 hour, 12 hour days. So I just haven't had time. You know what I mean? So I, um, but that's, the, that's my confession. Like, that's what I do. So she confesses food and I confess, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or like when we're having sex, she'd be like, ooh, that was just a little bit. Like, because earlier when you had left, <laughs> you know what I, mean? I would type in P-A-W-G-B-B-C. Anywho, we always like to tell uh, the purpose of these videos is to, uh, you know, encourage and inspire people to get in or stay married. We want to address any fears and we like to confess. We like to confess because we are, you know, people uh, uh, of God. I'm a church boy. And Sharon, her dad's a pastor. Her mom's a first lady. She's a church girl. But we're not breaking away from that at all. But we also, you know, deciding this to show you what it really is. Like, this is I what it really is. When like, you get into church, it's like a shh. They get like slaves. Like, master, master, Soon I will be done <laughs> like, with like, the trouble. What's wrong with talking about sex if you're mar we were married? Right. Or you about to get married? Like, you need to know, like, so true. about sex. Like, Rip this bread. is a, <laughs> a crime. <laughs> so true. You feel like you committed a crime. So that's one another reason why we're right. opening up these videos. And another reason why we're, you know, talking. Some people might say a little ratchet. But right. <laughs> just more open. Right. More open, and, and it's because we're trying to prepare you for success. If so, if you respect me, and you didn't know that I like porn as much as I do, and your husband likes porn, take it easy on him. You feel me? Hopefully, because unless he's acting like out, like oh okay, well he might <laughs> like, out. or he he might he, he might like um, 
he he might like go he might watch something and then go try to like execute that with somebody else. Uh. David doesn't do that. You feel me? David doesn't go that far. I, David does it. David has never gone that far, and it's, it's just not something that I do personally. Right. You know, uh, and, and then uh, we gonna we have another video when we uh, talk about you know keep your family out of my business. Uh, there is, and I'm not, I, I, I love pussy. I say pussy, dick, cock, balls all the time, right? <laughs> right? So that's what I'm going to say. But in this instance, there is a law of first mention. And so what does that mean? That means that wherever this instance is first mentioned in the text, it is how it was originally meant to be set up. And because God is not schizophrenic, you will, you will see a pattern throughout the scriptures. And it all happened based upon the, the first time it was mentioned. Well, the first time marriage was mentioned, it was about, you know, a, a man and a woman. And then the second time you'll see where uh, the man should leave his, his, his mom and cleave to his wife. These are things that are mentioned and are, are uh, patterned throughout the scripture. So it doesn't matter your hue, and I'm not here to judge you, but it's just something that I personally know because I was under B N O W. You know what I mean? And so when I when 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 you say that, it's really like okay. So how should I how should I treat my wife? I have to I have to love her and respect her. You know what I mean? Like she's supposed to be respected and loved, but I, you got to keep your your family out my business. You know what I mean? Because I have to love you and keep you, and, and I have to keep your my family. Out of our business. Right. So all that Jones in, can't do that. Bribert says, like Steve Harvey said, if you ain't having sex, where are all the little Christians coming from? <laughs> ding, ding. Right. And so for a long time, it was under the table. Everything's under the table. You know, somebody used to say, skirts go up too. All right. As a matter of fact, they kind of easier than pants. <laughs> if you think about it, like, this is easy. If she got a slip on, I just, just going to wipe off on that thing, like. <laughs> oh, you feel what I'm saying? So that's absolutely true. Like, right. that's absolutely true, Brit Brit. But um, yeah. So we have a whole video series about keep your family out your business. Mm -hmm. You got to keep them out. I listen, if, and, and and this is this is one of my outs for marriage. I feel like if somebody's hitting on you, not even being funny, you must don't know about me. To the left, to the left. I'm gone. You should be gone. Why? If you're not ready to tell the proper authorities, right. then you don't need to be telling nobody. Y'all keep that in your house. I know. You keep it in your crib until you are ready to reveal it to the to people who can actually do something about it. And that's just what I know. Because, you know, you and me, we might forgive each other. You know what I mean? And, and, but, but your mama will be mad until the end of time. Uh, 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 Carl says, uh, order of importance, mother, wife, kids. What's the right order? Wife, wife, wife. <laughs> you feel me? Because when the kids, when, we, when we're going through empty nest syndrome, right. when we're in our 40s, some kids probably won't even call. I don't call my mom, my grandma, and I'd I be needing to, so I hope that they ain't watching that when I said that. <laughs> you know I mean? But wife, wife, wife. Wife, wife, wife. Uh, and then your mom, uh, depending on, you know, the, your status of your mom, you, you got to realize that, you know, if, if your mom isn't in a relationship, then she has to understand. And that doesn't mean that you negate these other people, but, you know, the hierarchy of who you need to be spending time with and also receiving input from and putting input or, you know, your finances into your time, the bulk of your time need to be into your wife, 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 wife. That's the proper order. And, and that's, that's the strength of me and Sharon's relationship. Right. It's because I don't, put, I don't put Naomi or Olivia or little David in front of Sharon. Never. Never, I never do it. I don't do it because right. I feel like uh, you gonna be going to Harvard one day and re and, and and have some free time and refuse to call us. <laughs> I know what's gonna happen. Right. Or only time you call us, and I, this happens to us now, is when you want something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't call for no other reason. Wife, wife, wife. That's the proper order. So it's been about eleven minutes. We do also want to encourage people the purpose. Always. Tell a purpose about every 11 minutes to, uh, to inspire and encourage people to get and stay married and address any fears, any notions uh, that you may have 
um, uh, or any questions that you may have. Um, and uh, if you do need a, a, a video series, his name is W.F. Harley. It's my, it's my nigga, though, but he all white. <laughs> and, and, it, and it's all right. You know what I mean? Uh, he has a video series. There are six videos in the series. Each video is like, you know, approximately 18 minutes long. Uh, or the book, if you're, if you're a book reader, it's called uh, His Needs, Her Needs. Right. And uh, I did like 95% of the talking tonight. And I, I promised to you 20 minutes ago that was not in the plan. <laughs> but that's just the way it is, you know what I mean? So we did talk about Little Pussy tonight, and we talked about uh, that's it. So I, I, at night, it get kind of ratchet. And even if I'm not talking about pussy, dick, cock, and balls, I always make it so I say it. You know why? Because there are certain demographic of people who don't like those words who I don't want to watch this video. So I, I, I might introduce a video with <laughs> pussy, dick, cock, and balls because... I don't want you in here because I want the people that are in here to be comfortable and to 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 be able to express themselves right. without fear of judgment. Right. Always tell the story. People can only render an opinion about you. They cannot judge you. Uh, I, I went to court once and uh, I walked in a little late. You know, you know, niggas, how we do. I walked in a lot of late. I was uh, actually uh, he was working. He was on the last court case and i walked in because i wanted my car uh uh he said let's hear sharon said oh the, <laughs> the order the order so uh, i've been telling my story and then she could tell the order so um uh, anyway so I, I tell the bailiff you know is it okay if i approach the bench because i want to get my car released and she's like oh no he's not going to do that and she repeated again he's not going to do that long story short he released the car there's only one person in here capable of rendering judgment and it was him not her so i gave her a look like <laughs> you feel me? And uh, so, Sharon, uh, I'm assuming Carl wants to know my viewpoint. The viewpoint on the order. All right. So, um. No, say <laughs> pussy dick cock and balls. <laughs> pussy dick cock and balls. There you go. <laughs> that my boo all the time. All the time. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you silly <laughs> no. <laughs> you is. Well, uh, we do hope that you guys turn our notifications on so that you can always get them. We hope that you share. Yes. We hope that you like. We have a couple of events coming up. We have, uh, uh, we're going to have date night. And date night is going <laughs> to, he's clever. Uh, date night is going to be uh, w with just couples. We're going to be very open and candid. I keep saying this. And I'm glad I've already got a couple people to say, Ours ain't as strong as y'all's. Because we're going to be candid. Right. And we're going to be open. And so if somebody asks, have you ever cheated? We, we want you to be able to say, well, when I did, I confessed it. You know what I mean? We don't want you to be like, all right, <laughs> all right. <laughs> nah, my man. We don't want to just have fun. We want right. to help people. Right. We will have fun along the way, but the purpose is to, to help people and inspire them. So, uh, and then make sure you subscribe because we need you email your yep. contact information whatever you yep. want to give us so we could contact you about future events that's coming up mm -hmm. so important that's all we'll be sending you, you won't be you know spamming your <laughs> email or anything <laughs> or sending you crazy stuff just like events that we'll be doing in the future we got a couple of things we want to come out um and so definitely subscribe um definitely share because right. even if you don't need it or you don't want to watch it share or share it to someone that can Benefit. I bet this. you know a couple people who could benefit <laughs> from me and Sharon's relationship. Because right. we always like to say we are perfect in the area of fidelity and strong in the area of marriage. So we right. can help you. We talk about money in the morning. We talk about punching dick, cocking balls at night. <laughs> and until next time, we love you.